welcome. Let's just find yourself in your spot where you feel like you have room and nothing's, you're not going to trip on anything. And we will do a 45 minute flow. And today we're going to work on the coiling. So in Tai Chi and Qigong, uh, a lot is about the power of coiling, circling, rippling, this big toroidal force that is in nature. It's extremely transformative and healing, powerful. And uh, it also is very much about taking yourself from um, almost sleeping, a, a sleeping consciousness to a very awake, expanded consciousness. So that's what we, we'll be working on today. Just turn the music on. Make sure we have the right. Okay, I'm hoping it's not too loud. Just let someone in, pardon me. All right. So let yourself begin sinking and unlocking. Let your toes spread, lift them up and spread them. Suck them into the earth. Inhale, lengthen a little bit, rise out and exhale. Sink, relaxing the shoulders. Feel the crown rise and the tail sink. And the belly expands and then it moves into the cave of the belly. Let's bring in some cheese. Soft shoulders, easy fingers, sinking that chi right down and in. Though you're drawing in from this unlimited source of energy, awakeness, awareness, and shifting to one side, it doesn't really matter which side. I'm going to take this leg out into horse position sink with a little bit of a wider base of support. Wafting the arms up with the in-breath, sinking down. Let's let these shoulders, the tops of the shoulders, stay down even when you lift your arm. Like your shoulder blades are gently pulling down toward your pelvis. This is called opening the door. And with just a little bit of a change of the hands, it turns into lifting water. So let's have the palms opening forward and up a little bit. And then let yourself take a shower of chi. Almost as though you're taking a shower of light. And the light comes into every cell, every atom, neutron, electron, and photon in your body. And all your worries and cares and sense of lack, insecurity, self-doubt, anger. All of these thoughts and emotions, send them with this kind of light until they are so light that you can send them out and they're transformed. 
just gathering it in and transforming it, taking in right into the heart. It's this magnetic center, neutralizing, sending out light. Now this time, pull the chin in toward your throat. Feel the back of the neck like a soldier at attention and then send it out. And then the arms float down and let the chin move in toward that notch at your throat, looking down between your feet. Inhale. Exhale, draw the chin in. This is great for your posture, by the way. Inhale. And exhale, gaze down toward the earth. Inhale, draw it in, sending it out, chin down. Well, let's change our dynamics here a little bit. Inhale up, swing back, swing up, and swing up forward, back, up. judgments. Toss those judges that are on your shoulders all the time right off. Now this time when you come up, let's just swing out and then forward. Swing just a little twist and up. When you come back, just crossing the wrists open the chest and just feel that through your bones and your feet feel how they're accommodating this movement right in your instep the arches of your feet we have two ankles and one of those ankles is is helping with this the other one's not doing anything <laughs> And you're, you know, there's a little bit of movement in the knees, the hips, the spine, chest. All right, and now just release, shift side to side, and let your fingers and the backs of the hands and wrists trickle and play in the water. Just the perfect temperature. If you need it to be cool, it's cool. And making ripples, playing with the fishies. I like to imagine that the fish are coming into the palm of your hand just almost just to get that wonderful feeling of chi and to say hi. And then they swim off. Now let's just circle a little bit and allow the whole body to help you make this little whirlpool in the river of life. It's like the Tao. You're making ripples and eddies. Like your arms are like the cherry trees, the weeping cherry, and the branches are playing around in the water and swirling. And then they go a little higher across the heart and sink down the booty, slides back and across. Feel that weight shift, feel the movement in the waist. Allow your head to turn and your eyes to move and gaze around the room. All right, and now let's actually, sorry, sink down and all the way up. Now, if your shoulders are bothering you, just let the arms just stay where they are and you just move your pelvis and waist. See how that is? 
So you, it's almost like you're holding this beautiful bubble of chi and your pelvis is creating a whirling vortex. All right, let's go the other way. Did I just go this way? Oh. I'm gonna go the other way. Right. What if we try and walk with all of that stuff going on? I'm sure you have chewed gum and walked at the same time. It might be a little bit like that, or rubbing your belly and patting your head. Well, first, let's just feel what, feel our feet. We'll do this walking in a moment. Just feel those feet sequentially peeling up and pressing down, peeling up and pressing down, sensitizing your nervous system. Now, let's clasp the hands, bring them up, and begin to circle them around a little bit, just coiling and rippling. And we'll shift over to one foot, doesn't matter which one. Bring the, the light foot in and begin to do the same sort of motion with your ankle. Lifting up that heel and rolling on the ball of the foot and the toes. You can bend your knees a little bit and get a little more motion and reverse it. If you can reverse your hands, do that. And we just, it's a great way to, to nourish your hip joint, that hip capsule, your knee capsule, your ankle and toe capsules and your shoulders, elbows, and wrists, and fingers. All right, we'll shift and go the other way. Now start small. Sometimes when you whisper a movement, you get a whole lot of information you might have circumvented otherwise. Go the other way, if you're ready. Can you relax your shoulders? I'm asking you that because I noticed mine were starting to get tight. Notice if there's anything else you can let go of, like the top of your neck and your jaws. All right, okay. Now let's come back to, remember when we were playing around in the, in the water, All right? So let's play with that low circle. Now, how low can you go is the question. It's not really how low can you go. How low does it feel wonderful to go? And that's where you want to do it. So we are going to shift now when there's, when one side is heavy, the other one is light, that's the foot that steps. And this is going to feel really strange. And it kind of looks like you're underwater and someone's looking at you from the surface and you're all kind of waffly and wobbly. You might be saying, whoa, that's all right. Now what if we'll go the other direction and take it across the heart a little bit? Just have this sense, and you've got one foot maybe a little bit more in front than the other, that's okay, then you have this really wonderful, uh, it's almost like you have your cake and eat it too. You've got a forward and backward movement and a side and side movement. And your palms of your hands are talking to the earth. The earth is talking right back. The canyons, the valleys, the mountains, the meadows, the lakes and rivers, fields of grain, animals, 
them right into your heart. So you're connecting your heart with nature and your own human nature too. Now we're going to step backwards. Good luck with that. Step back. When you do, reach with your toes. Lean forward a little bit to stretch your foot back. Lean back to lift the light foot and then forward a little bit. So there's this shifting that goes on in your whole body. Right. Now, what if we take this, we sweep it down, and we'll go the other way and gyrate the heavens. We'll connect our earthness with the heavenness right through your pelvis, and your heart center, and your head center. What if you step a little bit over to your left as you do this? So we step out with that left foot, relax your chest and soften your head, shift over to the left, step in a little bit, and then step out again, keep going left. Go slow enough so that your equilibrium can catch up with you. One more. Now shift and we'll go the other way. So we'll step right now. So stepping right, shift your weight. Now I'm going to model doing less. If you're having one of those days, for whatever reason. So the work we're doing here, our trill is sidestepping while moving your head and body around with various relationships to the environment and to gravity. Definitely working on balance. Now let's just take one more to the right. Maybe you'd need to take a couple more, depending on your space. Well, come on up and let the waterfall flow down. So really soften the shoulders. Flowing down the mountain into the valley and the river. And let's come and replenish ourselves with chi. Relaxing those shoulder blades down, rotating the shoulder blades. Fanning your wings, opening up and folding in. We need both. We need the ebb and the flow. We need all of these dualities. But when we practice our Qigong Tai Chi, we're working to balance the dualities within us and our actions and our thoughts and emotions. And then, you know, when you're through with your practice, your speech, too. All right. Now just take a moment. This is your posture of awareness and readiness for anything but relaxed. Check to see how your shoulders and arms are doing. Let your tail drop. Your knees soften and unlock. Lift the chest a little bit. Let the head flow up like a helium balloon. But the chin, the helium balloon is weighted so that the chin drops in just a little bit toward the cleft of the throat. All right. Let's come back with this beautiful bubble of chi, this circling, round field. So it's a field of light or force or life or mm, 
There's just that potential of creation. And let's circle it. So when we circle it, we're actually circling our waist too. Circle it, come back to the center, and then circle it. And you don't want to pop this beautiful bubble of chi. Notice how your whole body is involved. But our power source, in Tai Chi, we call it the Yao. It's your waist. Think of a big cummerbund around your waist, lower rib, um, upper pelvis area. Go the other way. And then, so that's the Yao. And then you've got the Kwa. And the Kwa is your hip creases, your hip joints that allow you freedom and power. So your waist gives you the power and, and it also gives you stability for your spine. And, and so your joints can move with freedom and ease. And your hip joints give you lots of of flexibility and mobility. Now relaxing the arms down, we'll scoop up that chi again. Big, easy breath. Let's step out wide. Your toes are however they need to be, maybe slightly open or totally parallel. But lean into these bones here. It can be closer to your knee, closer to your hip. And we're going to do something called wag the tail and shake the head. So what we're doing is we're just shifting to one side at first. Don't even worry about the other part. Shift and feel the groins, the inner thighs, what's going on with the knees and hip joints and the spine. You can allow your torso to revolve a bit so one shoulder twists against the other and if you keep your head center you can feel your body rotating against the the head being still and then if you wish you can rotate the head and that's when we're shaking the head and now allow your booty to make a big semicircular arc back and then to the side and rotate the torso, rotate the head. Wag the tail, shake the head. All right, and now come back to the center. Sink a little deeper, drop the tail down and push into the feet and rise up. And let the feet come in a little bit. Heels, toes, and then the toes, and the heels. I feel this happening here. Lift the toes. Your toe, this one's already in, that's okay. Bring the heel. Heel. Toes. Toes. And, and everything just is on high feeling index, right? You can let your hands kind of be in there too. There's some sort of strange beast. Let's open those toes again. Whoa! And open up. And here we are again. All right. Now, remember how we did that circling of the ball. Let's try it with one hand. Okay. So we've got this ball. Now we're going to let that go. And this hand is going to be under. And this hand has a cup of the, the finest elixir possible for any soul 
to drink. And so what we're going to do is we're not going to spill it as we share it. So it's this amazing elixir. Do less. Allow all the parts of you to move. Your hip joints, your waist, a spiraling through the rib cage and spine, the head rotating. Let your breath feed you. And you don't have to worry about how you're breathing. You're just aware that you are breathing and taking in chi. And as you breathe out, that's the elixir. Now, so we don't get too confused, right? So we've been going out, now let's go in. In. And the other way. Try your feet parallel and see if that helps. about this elixir and you can with your your um, intentional force you can send healing to any part of your body that needs it maybe it's your low back maybe it's your knees maybe it's your shoulders or an elbow or your neck or all of the above just send this elixir through the vortex, transforming it, empowering it. All right. And then we'll just come right back down and take this hand up. And then receive that elixir in this hand. Let's start really small. You just don't want to spill the elixir. So in order to not spill the elixir, you have to ask other parts in your, of your body to recruit. It's like all your cells are, are warriors of light. How's that neck? How are your jaws? As you go, begin to be aware of how your waist is moving and how you can use your pelvis and hips and knees to enhance your experience. Remember your Dun Tien, remember that Yao, your Dun Tien is in there to keep you stabilized so you can be amazing. All right, now let's go the other way. Now, remember that you are the boss of your practice. And if it behooves you to go quicker and not move your head so much, like, see how nice that might feel and free it up. It's like suddenly, oh my gosh, you put it into fifth gear and you're going down the Chi Highway, making all kinds of swirls and curves, but you don't have to do your neck so big so you don't get dizzy. All right. All right. And then let's just come on back. Now what if we take both arms out and back and try to keep those bottles or those little cups, teacups or bottles 
Now, here's the thing. You may be using your imagination like crazy and not spilling the elixir, but really, rules are made to be broken in, in, to, uh, to bow to your health, to bow to what is right for this body in the moment. So, maybe you can glue that bottle of elixir on your palm Freeze it a bit so it won't spill out. Feel the rippling. So what we're after is coiling and rippling through all the joints, all the tissues, twisting, roiling, coiling is super helpful for getting the life juice through you. All right. Now what if we just go the other way? So we're just gonna go, oh, and it goes a little behind you. And then what? Now every time you bend forward or back, or every time you twist and ripple through your arms or your hips, every time should be nurturing, and delicious, and if it is not, recalibrate. It could be just like this. You could be deciding, I'm going to play with the fishies. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do is play in the current with the bright colored fishies. I don't have elixir, I am elixir. So what if you try that? Ooh, Ooh. and what if you shift over to one side? How's your breath? Feel how you can coil on a diagonal and it can change. It can bring about a whole new library of what coilage is in you right now. What if we shift over to the other side? Remember to activate your Dantian, your navel center and let the breath and the life and the light come in. Just really breathe, open, and relax. That is really key. Relax into it. Take away any concern about doing it according to somebody else's idea of what is right and what is wrong. Right. And playing with the fishies again. Now before we do another phase of this teacup exercising, how about we walk between heaven and earth? So we have this ball of light looping and swooping so that we're making the infinity sign here. And again, we are working at the waist. Think of three dimensions. Think forward and back. You've got your forwardness and your backness. And you've got your sideness and sideness. And with that forward and back, you also have that twisting of the waist. All of it at the same time. Imagine that you are, maybe you're a cherry blossom, floating playfully in the breeze, going with the flow. And then you begin to land in the river and the river flows and it's gonna take you. Walking forward. As we go forward, we lead with the heel and roll through the feet. First the front foot and then the back. Now it's not about how it looks, but how it feels. And if you can really commit 
to this sense of meditation and motion and relaxing, and breathing and moving through the light, uh, it will be beautiful. Be careful, you might stun somebody. All right, now let's go back the other way. We're gonna keep the arms going because they're doing great. When you go back, aside from relaxing your shoulders and the judges, step on from your toes and the ball of the foot. here for a moment. I just feel that you are made out of space and light and there is no time. Just move into this timelessness. This feeling. Now allow yourself to kind of curve over this giant beach ball or bubble of light. And then it, you can sync with it. Maybe it's going to recede or pop. And then go over to your left with your side body until you're like a rag doll point, you know, hanging to the side. And then push your feet and roll up sequentially from the base to the top. And then from the top down, up and over, sink. Now going over to your right, pushing through the feet, dropping the tail and sits bones as you open and ripple in a lateral sequential movement through the spine. Top of the head, down through the spine. So you are one gigantic, revolving, evolving cycle of energy. getting brighter, more spacious, more intelligent and creative by the moment, breath by breath, patiently, no agenda other than drinking it all in. to that. It's, it comes from your shoulders and you're stabilizing through your dun tan. The shoulders come back, almost back, up and over. Go into your left first and both arms open, palms up like you've got this huge ball. Now you've got the ball and then you let it fall and then you sink right over it. You and the ball of light are playing. And down you go and then here you have the ball lifting up and looking up and back at it and then drop it down open up your low back now use this as an exercise of of your own self mastery here how do I do this and make it feel therapeutic and fabulous rather than doing another repetition of something that hurts. I'm gonna try this one more time, left and right. Use your intuition and your creativity to work with this body as it is right now. With teacups, we, uh, there's always that part where you do both at the same time. One arm is doing the backward version, the other one is doing the sweeping this way. Well, it doesn't, who knows what's backward and what's forward, but they're doing the different versions. So let's take it, it's like you have this ball of light. You swirl it around 
and start over. at night with a bunch of other people who love playing with the light balls. We're all together listening to the loons and the other night birds and crickets and swirling these light balls around. Mosses, smelling the fragrances, listening to the sound of the water. And now take this ball and let's go the other way. Lengthen your spine, coil it and roil it. Every part getting twisted and juiced, folded and extended and circumnavigated. your breath. Just bring your attention right to your breath and see if that changes the quality of what you're doing. And that, not a judgment call. The quality is just um, a, you know, a way of perceiving and feeling and doing. It's not good quality or bad quality. It's a quality. Like sharp and direct or indirect and flowy. Those are two different qualities. Which one are you doing? Right. Now relax in your hands, relax your shoulders. Yeah, just picking up those feet. Yeah. Now we're going to step out a little bit. Just a little. All right. So let's do that. Um, we're going to do a bit of lunging and shifting and pivoting. So we'll pivot and lunge and twist and sweep the water around, lift the toes, shift and lift these toes. And now lunge, turn your pelvis and even that heel has to turn. And then it comes back, that heel does, shifts back so that now the toes pivot. We'll shift and lift these toes. And as we lunge and twist a little, we have to lift that back heel. And it comes back and you retreat as you lift these toes. All right, just try not to get too, uh, you could, like I just lifted my heel and you could do the toes. So what feels right at the time? Because what we're trying to do is we're not thinking eventually of our feet they are in service of you sweeping across and getting a view of your domain. So it's not about worrying about your feet. They are giving you the support and the latitude and the balance Some of 
you will know this, some of you won't. This is called Swimming Brag. Take our hands like so. And reach up, reach and pull, press down into your feet. Knees stay together, your hands come. So your torso and your knees in opposite direction. Come up and over. And now past the throat, coiling. Not only are you coiling side to side, but forward and back and twisting. Listen to the beautiful sound of your dragony breath. Come right up swiveling up right to the surface of the water. Lift, 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 and your wings come out and fly. <sighs> Inhale up. Palms together and sink. And go this way. And up and over. And past the throat. Filing, finding the powerful coiling and roiling of this dragon as it wakes up from sleeping at the bottom of the sea and it comes closer to the light. It sees the surface and it comes right up. Stretch, 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 take a big breath in. Exhale and fly. Get your perspective, your big picture. Feel your strength. I once had a therapist who said, and Alex, you're like a dragon hiding behind a marshmallow. And my daughter says, Hey, this dragon should toast the marshmallow and eat it. Bring the palms together, relax the shoulders, soften the knees, feel that stretch in the nerves in your wrists and arms, press, lift the elbows a little bit, feel that stretch, rotate, and come back into this hand position of creation right down in the lower dantian with soft shoulders. I'm saying it feel as though there's a transformation waiting to happen. It may be already happening in you. And let it be birthed. Don't hide behind a marshmallow. Yeah, release. And let's take the arms flowing forward Cross the wrists, braid the two dualities together in balance. All is well in your village. All right, I'm gonna change my hands. Okay, so your right fist of strength combines with your left hand of friendliness and mutual respect and comes together at your shin, your center, your command post, 